G'day, just a quick video on uh, boil leaks. I've got a 6L45E torque converter here, uh, leaking out of the bell housing. We've got it out, replace the seal, and I'm just going to quickly do a pressure test on the torque converter just to make sure it's not leaking. On these, they're notorious for uh, developing a crack there on the converter neck. Now I've just, I'm just holding it in the chuck in the um, lathe and I've got the tool stock just holding uh, the pressure gauge in there and the pressure fitting. Uh, I think uh, torque converters usually operate at about 80 psi. Don't hold me to that but uh, I'm going to pump this one up to about 120 psi and see what happens. Just make sure your tail stock's on nice and tight, the brake. And we're in, uh, you've got PSI or bar. I'm going to pump it up to 120 PSI or about 8 bar. There's pressure really running away there quickly somewhere. There we go. We're on just, just under 120 psi. And you can, I've got the soapy water on there. You can see there's a big bubble forming already. That'll be where the leak was coming from, or the majority of the leak. Here we go, just a little hint for you when uh, you're trying to fix oil leaks at the front of the transmission, it's not necessarily just the seal or the bell housing bolts or a crack in the bell housing. Always test your torque converter. Hope that's helped. Thank you for watching.